Hey guys, so in this video we're going to take a look at the FQ777 FQ11 Mini. And this is one of those um, tiny toy quad quadcopters that will uh, store inside the transmitter, which is kind of interesting. Here's some of the features listed on the bottom of the box. I don't know if mine has the HD cam. I'm going to open it up and find out. It says it's optional. It might be on another model. Headless mode, uh, 360 flips, and one key return. Uh, looks like I got the uh, black one here. They got a silver and a gold and a rose colored one. Rotatable motor arm drone. That's probably how it fits into the transmitter. Yep, there you go. So, yeah, the uh, arms cl collapse. So, let's get this out of the box and take a look at it. Okay, so here's everything out of the box. You got your quad and transmitter here. They give you a screwdriver. Uh, four spare propellers and a uh, propeller removal tool and uh, this is a nice touch I always uh, like getting these because I don't have enough of these you get a uh, USB charger plug into your computer or any other USB type uh, power adapter and it's got one of these smaller uh, 1.25 millimeter pitch plugs it looks like and you get your instruction manual so here's a, a quick look at the manual and you guys can uh, pause the video if you want to take a closer look. And it looks like the model I have is not the one with the photo and video because that looks like it's the FQ11C and mine doesn't have a C at the end. Taking a look at the transmitter's buttons here, uh, this button, this big one here, is the on-off switch for the transmitter, and we've got a one-key return switch here, and this one is for headless mode, and got your right and left trim here, and your forward and back trim over here so the one on the left is forward and the one on the right is backward so uh, yeah not only they are not labeled but uh, having these points the side is a little confusing normally you would want the pitch ones to be over on the side here but they obviously went for form over function on the design of the transmitter with the polygons here okay so over here on the left side these two buttons are a little unclear. I think this says this is for speed or your different rates on this one. And I'm not sure what tail wagging turn left right means. Is there a single button for that over here? I'll try those out later and uh, I'll figure those out. Uh, it says here that th these two buttons are for photo and video but this uh, quad doesn't have that so uh, these are probably non-functional. Okay, so taking a look at the uh, back of the transmitter here we got two slots again here for the uh, batteries and I believe that they, they do this uh, so that you can uh, have a space here for the quad uh, and if they put batteries here in the middle obviously you won't be able to fit the quad in there so they have them uh, two sets of the batteries here on the side I think they're both supposed to be AAA so four AAA batteries and uh, once you take the quad out uh, you see there's a small charging cable inside there, so you could use the um, batteries from the transmitter to recharge the quad. Okay, here's the quad itself with the arms folded. So here's a look at the bottom of it. Let's go ahead and uh, extend these arms out. So they go only all one way and then they lock into place, you can't go any further. So they all will go counterclockwise to fold in and you pull them clockwise to extend the arms. So go ahead and uh, extend all the arms here. And it looks like we have a LED here in the front, I don't think it's a camera. Um, got an uh, on-off switch here, and there's the charging port. 
and yeah this is uh, supposed to be for the SD card slot for the camera version but this is not in the camera version so it just looks like a filler there and there's nothing on this side it looks like the battery is non-removable it's built in but you can clearly see it right there you probably could mod this to make the battery swappable potentially Got some nice uh, rubber landing feet here, so should land pretty soft. Yeah, it's uh... okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up, and now we'll take it for a fly. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna take the uh, FQ777 FQ11 Mini for a test flight here. Yeah, here we go. Come out here. Let's try the uh, one key return. See what happens. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Hit the wall. Let's try launching it from here. So it won't hit the wall. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit of a bigger space to fly this. I'm going to try this outside my garage instead. And we're going to go all the way to the highest rates. Oh yeah, that's... That's pretty insane. I think I better. Yeah, the uh, pitch angle is crazy on level three here. And take it back down. All right, much more calm there. That's a flip, nice flip. So press the right stick in and uh, indicate which way you want to flip it. This is a very tight flip. Uh, very tight flips. Let's get that closer here. Oh, that one failed. Got plenty of power. All right, let's try that uh, return to home or one key return here. 
about there, and then uh, the button, it's coming back. Let's try that again. Press the one key return, and it starts coming back. Doesn't work that well, but it does come back in the general direction. There's the wind kicking up. Let's check out the uh Let's check out the yaw rate. This is in uh, the lowest rates right here. Pretty slow. Alright, let's try the, uh, oops, let's try the yaw in the uh, second level. So here's the yaw in second rates. A little bit faster. And let's bump it up to level three. Here's the yaw on level 3. Not bad, but still pretty slow for a yaw. Alright, let's try uh, headless mode out. Whoa, didn't like that. I think my battery might be almost gone. Alright. Alright, so let's yaw this. Yep, and headless mode works. Headless mode works, but you have to wait for the transmitter to beep three times. My battery's almost done here. There we go. Let's turn it. Still works. Let's turn sideways. Turn it towards me, still works. much power it really takes off. It's kind of hard to tell orientation. You get that little light in the front but it's hard to see. And it does take off on you quick.
here's the battery. So yeah, this is uh, pretty fun to fly. The uh, Obviously, having these uh, toy transmitters makes it somewhat challenging to have precise control, especially on the yaw axis. Uh, it's having a little bit of difficulty in making the turns. Uh, this is very tiny. You get the one little LED here in the front for orientation. Otherwise, you really can't tell which way is front and back because there are no other lights. And uh, it's kind of hard to see that in bright lights uh, during the day. Uh, so I did lose orientation a few times. It crashed. And uh, what was kind of funny was uh, I crashed and one of these arms had bent in about that much. One click. And I don't know when that happened, but uh, I probably flew half the battery with the arm uh, not even straight. So and flew, it looked like it flew pretty well. So uh, that was pretty amazing. You know, I actually ended up crashing this thing uh, several times and uh, uh, it doesn't look like there's any damage at all. It looks like it took it like a champ. Uh, even the props feel pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit rough on the edges just from hitting the uh, concrete. Uh, the one key return sort of works. It basically just heads back in the general direction that it came from and doesn't really change altitude too much so you got to take control of it uh, once it gets close to you. The headless mode feature when you press it, uh, sometimes when you press it, it only clicks, uh, only beeps once and you need to hear it beep three times and then it'll actually work otherwise it's not actually functional. Uh, flips are pretty good, they're nice and tight uh, and uh, I can get the, the quad very close. It's overall pretty stable, even in the wind it, it didn't really shimmy too much. It, flew uh, uh, pretty pretty nice overall. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this review of the FQ777 FQ11 Mini. It's a pretty fun little craft. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.